these clips, we'll be looking at... Some reactions are very slow. Others are very fast. Others happen over several minutes. It's easy to measure the time taken. You just use a stop clock. Another way of calculating the rate of reaction is by taking the amount of product formed, in this case, carbon dioxide. 50 centimetres cubed of carbon dioxide is produced in four seconds. Remember, don't forget to include the units in your answers. The reacting particles have to collide with each other with sufficient energy. Eight small cubes have the same mass as one big cube. Explosions have occurred in flour and coal mines. <coughs> so let's summarise rates of reaction with collision theory. The activation energy is the minimum amount of energy required for particles to collide and react. The manganese oxide acts as a catalyst to speed up the breakdown of hydrogen peroxide. 